In Kaduna State, Northwest Nigeria, Labor Congress, Trade Union Congress, and other affiliates unions of Nigerian workers have joined their counterparts across the country to celebrate Workers' Day. The workers want the government at all levels to improve minimum wage and living standards of workers by implementing policies that will favor civil servants in the state and the country at large. Hundreds of Nigerian workers converged on Murtala Mohammed Square in the early hours of today to celebrate the commitment and resilience of workers with the March Pass. This is the first time the governor and government officials graced Nigerian workers' celebration after 10 years without any government official to attend to their plight. The Kaduna State Chairman of Nigerian Labor Congress says workers have diverse challenges bordering them, stating that the minimum and living wage must be prioritized with a human face the, and the social economic justice is key to the growth and development of any nation. We have so many challenges, but the most important is the issue of minimum wage. You can remember His Excellency, the President during uh, electionary, promised Nigerian workers a living wage. So this time around, we are demanding for the fulfillment of that pledge of a living wage, not only a minimum wage. For us, workers are the backbone of our communities, the driving force of our economies, and the aspects of the future. Sir, workers deserve our utmost respect and appreciation, as well as their self-support, sir. We must prioritize the safety, health, and dignity of workers together as we all build society for a well-being of the people, not just a slogan, but that to be a fundamental issue of our actions anyway. Also, Kaduna State Governor Obasani says his administration will prioritize welfare of workers and motivate the workforce, which is critical to the achievement of the administration's rural transformation agenda. Some of the workers expressed their displeasure over poor welfare packages that didn't meet the current economic reality in the country urging them to put mechanisms in place that will prioritize workers and job security in the state. Nurses don't stay in Kaduna State. We have high attrition rate. You are employed today, by next week you don't see them because the welfare package is not good. The salary is not good. So the nurses are running to where they are well paid. Then the hospitals, there are no equipment. And then uh, the environment is hostile. Insecurity is still everywhere. We thank the governor who has picked six uh, health facilities to renovate. Yeah, the work has started, but we are saying that if you renovate the facilities and the people that are working there are not well motivated, is you, you won't achieve much. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.